Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. And this time I'm doing an audio version. Sometimes I will do audio, sometimes I will do video. Now, I just felt that I needed to put out a very important reminder, especially for our Muslim women who are preparing food in Ramadan. Now, my beloved sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you with Jannat al Fridos. Ameen. You are doing so much for the family. But remember, remember to take time out for yourself as well. And to my brothers across the world, remember that your wife also has the right to read the Quran, to do extra um, activities, to keep herself fit, even in Ramadan. Even if it means to go for a walk after iftar, go with her, go with the family, go for a walk. There is so much that a woman can do if she just, you know, has the support from her family. And I tell my mom the same thing. So my mom actually has frozen a lot of food. She made spring rolls and samosas and, you know, kebabs and she freezes them. So it's a lot easier in the day. So she has more time to do other things and read the Quran and also gain additional reward. And of course, a woman will definitely get rewarded if she's doing so much work in the kitchen, especially when she is fasting at the same time, subhanAllah. But that is not her only uh, you know, duty. If, if anything, if you can help them with that, if, if the, the children that are listening to this, if they can help their mom in the kitchen, I try to help my mom whenever I can, whenever I'm over. Um, just to make their life that bit easier and if you don't know how to cook then help your mom with the washing with washing the clothes or if you don't know how to wash the clothes then ask her she can teach you and if you don't know how to wash the clothes still then you can dry them whether that means drying them in the dryer or putting them out you know in the house or outside on the washing line every little thing that we will do will help our mother have more time to read the Quran, to even read it with the translation, and for her to have a self, uh, have a, a sense of contentment that she is also not missing out in Ramadan. Because no matter how much work they do, I hear my mom say that, oh, you know, my mom saw me making dua and she said, you know, I'm. I wish I had that opportunity. Of course, she still makes dua at, at, at other times, but during iftar time, because no matter what I say, I'm like, mom, rest. She will not rest. And I said, mom, don't worry. I'm making dua for you too. So every little thing that we do um, will help our mother, inshallah. Um, so please help the women uh, in the house. It's not their duty to be in the kitchen standing there for half the day, okay, or all the day at all. Uh, Islam is much more than that. And Islam is so kind. And it encourages women, okay, to also have time for themselves, for their mental health and their physical health. And I hope this short reminder just, you know, can help women across the world, Muslim women across the world. So please share this with as many as possible. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us health mentally and physically and allow us to reap the rewards of Ramadan and allow us to help each other to be there for one another as pillars as we are meant to. Ameen. Jazakallah khair for listening. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. And don't forget to subscribe, like and press the bell notification to receive new videos. Thank you.